identifying with the one true God and being who it is that God will have you be. We just heard Jesus today say, I am. I am the good shepherd. As I begin to tell the story, keep in mind that the Gospel of John is different. John presents a more fully developed theology of Jesus rather than a story of Jesus. John tries to tell us who Jesus is more than what Jesus does. So the Gospel of John then connects Jesus directly to God. That's the intent of the Gospel of John. It is God who says, I am, or I will be who I will be. In the Gospel of John, Jesus says several times, I am. And every time that John has Jesus saying, I am, it's a point of attempt to connect Jesus directly to the one creator of God. So Jesus says, I am, and it's as if he leaves the blank at the end of the sentence. And then Jesus says, I am, and begins to fill in that blank. I am, Jesus says, I am the bread of life. Through me, God feeds you. God feeds you physically and spiritually. The ordinary bread that we share becomes the sacred, sustaining commodity through the Spirit of God in Jesus. I am the bread of life. Feast on God who gives you life. I am Jesus. <coughs> I am the resurrection and the life, meaning resurrection is eternal life in God. Now, don't believe that eternal life is something that we find at the end of this life as a reward for having endured this life. No. Eternal life in God has already begun. Eternal life in God has begun now, and it's something that will continue forever and never end. Jesus says, I am. I am the good shepherd, meaning that I'm the one who gives you care, even when you're not asking for it. I'm the one who gives you care, even when you're not aware of it. I am the one who identifies with you in your moment of need. And I am the one who is willing to lay down my life in order to keep you safe. And God says, I am. And Jesus says, I am. So let's stop for a moment. Just kind of pause for a moment. Let me ask the question. Who are you? Who are you and what do you do? Well, I think most of us, when we ask that question, say, I am. We would fill in the blank with our name. And that would be true. Or we would say, I am. And then we would define our work, our vocation, what we do. And that would be true as well. But first and foremost, you are a child of God. And that is what you do. And that will never change for all eternity. So then, as a community of faith, the people gathered, who are you? Or rather, I should say, who are we? Well, most of us would say, well, we're, we're St. Peter's. And, and that would be true. We are St. Peter's. And then we would say, we need to fill in that line. So tell me, what does it mean to be St. Peter's? Who are we? Well, we could say that we were once an imperiled parish, and that was true then, but that's no longer true. You see, we stood at the bit, at the abyss, at the brink of a great tragedy, and we were raised up out of that. We have experienced literally the new life that comes out of death. We have to see, Brenda and Mary Marguerite died, but we have become a new people. We could say that we are perishing conflict, but that's really no longer true either. Yes, of course. We may have our differences of opinion, but we know we no longer wallow in that self-destructive behavior. Because we have learned the value that all of our contributions are necessary, all of them, necessary to this common cause. We have also learned that we want to go forward together because we enjoy each other's company. We could say that we are a parish that's looking for leadership and direction. Again, that's no longer true. 
Back then, in that time of uncertainty, you all stepped up. Every last one of you. You stepped up in your own way. I want you to look around. I want you to look in front of you. I want you to look to your right and to your left. What you see as you look around, there are your leaders. They're right here. There are your leaders. So we are learning that to be good leaders, we are also good followers. And by that I mean as disciples. That's what disciples are, are followers. To be good leaders, we are good followers. And that means we follow in the way of Jesus. God says, I am. Jesus says, I am. God says, I will be who I will be. Jesus says, I will do what God needs me to do. So then, who are you? Well, let me tell you a little bit about who you are. You are a healthy community of faith. You have returned to be a parish in good standing. Yes, now you have a director, but it's somebody that you've known for a while. You have become good leaders by following Jesus. You are, or rather, we are, St. Peter's. Now, what will St. Peter's be from this time forward after we've come through that long ordeal? What will we be from this time forward? You see, I think there's a blank space there that's waiting to be filled in. We are St. Peter's, and we will be Learn what it is that we will be. Tell each other who it is that we, we will be. We are St. Peter.